Over hill, over dale, through brush, through briar, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire, do I wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere, and I observe the fairy queen, to dew her orbs on the green, the cloud slips tall, her pensioners be, their gold coat spots you see. Those be rubies, fairy flavours, those freckles live their savours. And I must go seek some dewdrops here, and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou lob of spirits, I'll be gone. Our queen and all her elves come here anon. Time to pack up for the night. I'm tired. I just want to rest before all the mosquitoes come out. The sun has cycles just like the moon. The sun actually has two cycles, the day and the year. Sunset is considered a liminal time, which means between two worlds. When something is between two worlds, it allows for spectacular magic. At sunset, the day transitions to night. The moment the sun dips below the horizon, there is still a faint glow around the hills. It is between two worlds, that of day and night. If you need help in a transition, or if you feel like your life has become stagnant, this is the perfect time to hold that with you. And just down there is the river. It's a cute little path. The river! We made it, finally! <sighs> it's been a long, hot day. I am hot and sweaty, but finally I am here. I made it. The van did such a great job. There is no internet. There is no cell phone reception. I am completely off grid and it is wonderful. Let me show you the view out my back doors. Just peaceful. I just love the way that the sun is streaming in my windows and illuminating inside the van. It's just beautiful. It's my favorite time of day. This is paradise. There's the river. It feels so good to have my van out here with me down by the river. You might be able to hear some of the noise of the river. It is such a gorgeous evening. <sighs> I'm ready to wind down now that I got here and spend the next few days just playing in this gorgeous spot. It is freaking beautiful. Thank you so much for being here and joining me and your continual viewership because it means I've gotten to end up places like this. Thank you so much. <sighs> I thought today was a great day to try and do something a little more cinematic. So I've pulled up my hat, dressed up a little. I don't often to get to take my magical self out to go and play, so I thought, why not? Dress up. 
just slow down and enjoy you know there's some pleasure in dressing up and stepping into an energy a version of yourself that is more tended more cared for because I've been so busy in build and travel and now I am hanging out in meadow by the river I am slowing down a little bit mainly because the heat dictates one too but to enjoy some of that so I thought I'd take you with me As we approach August, we are starting to mark the last of summer as it greets the first of the harvest festivals. The days are still long and hot, but whispers of change cannot be ignored. There is a primal urge to stretch our arms out wide and grab it all before it's gone and hold tightly each bloom before we must bid adieu. Although autumn is still down the road, it can be sensed. We begin to feel the quickening ever so slightly, like a little shiver up our spines. The sun kisses bestow upon us by the great lion in the sky, as we bask in the last moments of fullness to savour every delight, inhale every perfume, and await the turn of the wheel once more. Say instead it was an evening in head-high bracken, with its smell of dark and medicine, thinking green of infecting fern where you may crouch down and not be known, lodging your feet for a good amid the stalks. A bower is a dwelling place, or once it was a cage for pent-up singing birds. Look down below and see the warp and weft of root. All the world is in these clutches. Look up to clock the ferns drab underneath, blotched with spores you mustn't breathe. Breathe deep the smell of the earth, the air, the wind, the water. There's no way else to live. I thought the earth, I thought the earth remembered me, she took me back so tenderly, arranging her dark skirts, her pockets, full of lichens and seeds. I slept as never before a stone on the riverbed. Nothing between me and the white fire of the stars, but my thoughts as they floated, light as moths among the branches of the perfect trees. All night I heard the small kingdoms breathing around me, the insects and the birds who do their work in the darkness. All night I rose and fell as if in water, grappling with luminous doom. By morning I had vanished at least a dozen times into something better. Laying in a field, grass green, soft and wide, looking at the velvet sky along this countryside. A cloud passes through, a traveller on his way, the wind his stick he walks with, to help him through his day. His shoes worn very thin, but walks a steady pace. Passing through, he looks at me, meeting, face to face. I give my friend a smile, so his travelling will not yield. I'll wait for another friend to come, as I'm waiting in this field. Huck 
huckleberries. Oh, I dropped one. One for the fairies. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. One or two of those was not quite right. Oh, but they're too tasty. Just the way the light shines on them. Like the cutest, the cutest little berries in the woods. That's amazing. Freaking stunning. I just like how you can see basically all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We so high. And the river is way down there. Kind of a vertical drop. Oh look, woodpeckers. I was like, why is there wood chips on the ground in the middle of the forest? Wow, cool. That's why the woodpecker's eating this dead tree. I love staircases made of roots. <laughs> So yeah, I still have the red light going. Oh, okay. So cool. You'll see my little back and forth sea missions. Just wow. See, this I wouldn't mind rafting down. And then all of this. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Just letting the river go by. <laughs> Mulberries, you say? Mulberries. Look at them! Perfectly ripe, <gasps> beautiful mulberries. Post for the snack! Forest snack! One for you, three for you. <laughs> mm. they've, they've got the little pitch inside. And they taste very different from blackberries. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the color of my tongue. First, dipping in the fuel. And the fuel is over here beside the water, which is by this propane fire's gas tank to keep everything safe and out the way.
those tiny flecks of light that tantalize the solemn night. They imitate the stars above. It's got to explain the meaning of love. She doesn't care if she loses sleep, cause once she catches one it's hers to keep, just for a little while. She knows she can fall asleep with a bossy smile, knowing pleasant dreams await the night as she snuggles next to her own starlight. I watch the fireflies constantly refreshing constellations, tracing the slow paths they follow, combing the air for affection I wish them well in their search, as they follow other follower chasing each over tangled loops of night, utterly unaware of their own pursuers it's sad and funny, as most real things are, just seem so improbable that with all that emptiness and just a pinprick of flickering, light always away, to guide you those brief pulsing lights, singing their longing areas of summertime. They are the hope amidst the darkness, and what I would call the whole mess useless. But what do I know? After all, there are still fireflies. That was so fun. <sighs> I'm wearing cotton. So the times that I donked myself on my body, it's not like nylon. I'm not wearing pl anything plastic. Everything I'm wearing is a natural fiber and I had my water close by. So if you play with fire, you gotta know what you're playing with. Yeah, like maybe I singed some baby hairs off and I think I whacked myself somewhere else, but all I can smell is like the, s s the singeing of hair, but oh yeah, here it is. I donked myself right there, but no burn, no burn whatsoever. Maybe like a tiny bit of hair got burned, but even here when I donked myself right in the face, like all of the hair around here is not burnt at all. Yeah, so. You gotta make sure you use the right fuel and the little bit balls on the end of my poi are actually made of Kevlar and so they just soak up fuel and then they never burn up. But it was so fun! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to have a look at the footage! Ah! Oh, I love how my van looks. And then look. Isn't that neat? feel like my little creative introvert soul got to play uninhibited and now it is time for bed mm, it's so pretty out there sun shining it's illuminating everything and
first thing I want to do this morning is, because there's sunshine out, plug in my solar panel. I still only have the portable one. I'm getting closer to actual batteries. <sighs> Get there. Okay, let's go plug it in. Now the positive. Solar panel is on. Bringing in power. And then here, I'm using power. The fridge is running on 120. <sighs> this is the voltage. My phone is charging. And I'm going to plug this camera into charge too. You can see my inverter is on. The fridge is pulling 49 watts. <sighs> what a morning. I'm dying. We are in the middle of a summer heat wave. It has been almost 40 degrees for the last week plus. I have barely been able to do anything, let alone film. Everything has been hot. I have been melting, fighting dehydration, and when there is very little ventilation, spending our time outside in the shade is the only way to survive. So I am going to, this is the most clothes I've worn in a while because it's too hot. I'm going down to the river. Oh, there's an eagle up there. Wow. been thinking about crossing over there seeing if I can find a trail through there up the ridge I chatter over stony ways in little sharps and trebles I bubble into eddying bays I babble on the pebbles with many a curve my banks I fret by many a field and fallow and a many a fairy fallen set with willow weed and mallow I chatter, I chatter as I flow to join the brimming river. But men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. I wind about and in and out with here a blossom sailing, here and there a lusty trout, and here and there a grayling, and here and there a foamy flake upon me as I travel with many a silvery watery break above the golden gravel.
I murmur under moon and stars and in brambly wildernesses I linger by my shingly bars and I loiter around my cresses. I slip, I slide, I glue my glance among my skimming swallows. I make the netted sunbeam dance against my sandy shallows. And, a, and out again I curve and flow to join the brimming river. Men and come and men may go. But I go on forever. Before you all run away, I wanted to officially invite you to the online documentary screening of my first ever documentary film, Fellowship of the Sea. You can find tickets online at my website, flossyrocks.ca. Thank you so much for watching this week's video and I hope you enjoyed this poetic exploration through summer. I have put the authors of some of the poems that I read down below in the description. I want to say a big thank you also to all my Patreon supporters who come with me and have really supported me through the last few weeks. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to check it out, the link's in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day and pursue joy and whatever makes you happy. Dear everyone, you are officially invited to the online premiere of my first ever documentary short film, Fellowship of the Sea. It will screen on September 14th, Pacific Standard Time, which is Vancouver. I'll put the times for other locations here on the screen. You can get tickets to attend this online screening below at my website, flossyrocks.ca. This is a three-part event over an hour. First, the documentary screening, then a more impersonal Q&A with the seals themselves, then a marine biology presentation of the creatures of the Salish Sea. There will be a short Q&A session at the end of the event. I look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you so much.